Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Present. Okay, everyone has uh, downloaded the um, scribus? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Okay. So, our goal in um, these uh, remaining hours and then in this afternoon uh, uh, is to realize a catalog of a photographic art exhibition. Um, you have uh, um, almost what uh, you need uh, in the teaching material that I sent uh, a few days ago that you have, uh, I, I, I think you have downloaded from the site. Um, so we will work uh, with the, the, the wonderful um, images, uh, uh, photos uh, of uh, Luigi Gattinara, that is uh, a, a recently deceased uh, photographer and artist, uh, um, about whom I have this, uh, the, had the honor to have written and edited uh, the e-book, uh, the fixed layout e-book that you have uh, among your uh, didactic materials too thanks uh, to the, the, the kindness of uh, the publisher Simonelli, for whom I, I um, cure, I, I, I made some, some books and e-books and a series of books for him. And um, I'd like if you can see also this uh, e-book because it's the, it, it uh, will show you the difference between a a PDF e catalog and a ebook catalog, okay? An ebook fixed lay layout catalog. Uh, obviously, uh, all the um, copyright of the images and the text are uh, that you can download and use in this uh, exerc exercitation in this hand home laboratory is uh, um, um, are reserved, okay? So uh, you don't have to use it them. Uh, in any other case, you can need to uh, don't use any more this, uh, this material. Okay, um, so what... Uh, um, uh, um, obviously, uh, what we use uh, is uh, um, this, uh, this um, program um, that uh, you have uh, uh, already downloaded, Scribus. Uh, Scribus is a program that realizes and exports uh, the layout in PDF. Um, maybe uh, this year is he probably it probably can have the uh, possibilities uh, in itself uh, to realize also epub3 format uh, and this will be wonderful because uh, it could be as multitasking as uh, in design uh, in uh, realizing uh, um, um, public digital publication but until now we uh, it uh, can only be exported the last exportation is an exportation in in a pdf format uh, as uh, we said before pdf format is the format uh, for the printer and also for uh, having any catalog uh, that can be shared uh, in your site uh, in your mail and in every every way you um, every way you want and uh, we will see this uh, this afternoon it can be also uh, it can be also become a fleet book fleet flip book. I don't like uh, them very much, but it's easy to do. Uh, it gives you the, the, the idea, the experience to flip the pages uh, of, of uh, a, a, EPUB, um, a PDF uh, uh, file. Um, 
There are uh, uh, many other desktop publishing software uh, um, uh, that uh, are not uh, uh, scribbles. Uh, um, in particular, you have you can have a LibreOffice writer that is included in uh, LibreOffice, and this uh, symbol is a very it's a very good uh, um, publishing software. You can have publisher. <clears throat> Look, um, Publisher is uh, really one of the best software uh, software for uh, designing a book and uh, is part of, of uh, Microsoft Office Suite, but it works only with Windows, so it doesn't work so with, um, uh, with, uh, Apple, um, with Apple. Uh, usually, every publisher uses uh, uh, Adobe InDesign. Uh, Adobe InDesign uh, is uh, uh, is the most powerful uh, uh, tool that we have uh, dedicated to the design and format of uh, books uh, and editorial uh, uh, products. Uh, it's available uh, for Windows, for uh, Mac, uh, but uh, it's. Uh, uh, usually uh, expensive uh, you have to um, to sign for an annual uh, subscription subscription so if you are not a, a professional um, in in this in this field uh, it's harder for you to have a, a, a in design uh, program in your uh, in your computer. Um, there are uh, um, some uh, possibilities, some discount, special discount for teachers and students. So uh, maybe you can find, can uh, try um, try this, but it's uh, it's a really expensive. Uh, Expensive also because it's uh, extremely powerful and uh, it's um, almost uh, too complicated if you are not a professional um, graphic designer. And then uh, here you have Scribus, uh, and Scribus is a semi-professional, um, allows you to make a very good layout, uh, is intuitive, is uh, easy to, to understand, and uh, most important of all, is free of charge, and this is, uh, for us, is very, is very important. So starting with, uh, uh, with the work, uh, um, I told you that uh, you need to be organized, okay, in your uh, work. Let's see if I can uh, put this uh, bigger. Um, why? It's simple. You have a lot of elements, a lot of things to decide uh, in doing your book. It's not so easy. You don't, you are not uh, make a layout for a, a a novel, no, where you need to decide only uh, what kind of style you have uh, for the title of the cap, the chapters, uh, the, the 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 size of the pages, uh, and so on. You need to realize a very complex uh, book with uh, some different parts in it, uh, with the many uh, images and very items, uh, with cards for, for uh, uh, each item, uh, um, with different uh, um, kind of cataloging in it. Uh, maybe you want to catalog uh, topographically if you have uh, an exhibition and you have to catalog uh, um, in, in different rooms where the, the, the paintings are with different uh, way of cataloging them. You uh, you could have uh, um, a lot of choice to do and a lot of uh, um, construction, a, a, a very difficult uh, architecture on your book. And this means that you uh, needs to be well organized. Moreover, in Scribus, uh, you don't put something in your file. You give, um, you give to the file a path to recover the thing that you are, you are putting in the file. So it's important that uh, the things that are in your desktop or your, in your documents and the thing that you want to put in your layout uh, um, not, um, knew each other the, the right place or where to check. Okay, so it's important that you put all together the images, all together the text, okay, uh, 
to put everything in a, a, a folder and to name everything in a way that you can know what uh, there is that you put in your file. This is, seems uh, a, a, a see, ban banal, that's a so, so easy thing to say, but it's not so. And I, we used to take piece of, of text everywhere, uh, download the image from uh, uh, wherever you want, uh, put all together. And I think that uh, your word processor or whatsoever uh, can uh, uh, realize the magic uh, to make it in a book. Uh, it's not so, okay. Um, so uh, let's have a folder. And let's put some other folder in it. Huh? You still have this in your material, so use it. You have a folder with the pictures, photos. You have a folder with text, okay? And you have a folder that is your project. In this case, I call it still life project. You can call you people, it's not important. It's important that you know that this is your project and everything that goes in the project goes in this folder. Uh, you can uh, have a, a, a folder for uh, uh, the uh, file that uh, comes from Scribus, so you can have another folder with name it Scribus. So every once you stop to uh, make your layout and you save, you know where you save your layout while you are working in it, okay? So give to these uh, thing uh, names, okay? And um, in text, uh, uh, text is important because uh, uh, text may come from uh, different sources. You can have text uh, in Word, you can test uh, uh, came from an uh, email or web page or text editor. Remember that uh, when you use uh, a, um, a language, a markup language uh, in uh, every document uh, online uh, or in, in, uh, in a digital world, uh, you, need, you have uh, a text that is full of code in it because everything that you say you change in the test that means the line of code that say that this test is of this style, of this character, of this font, and this justification, and so on. So to um, um, make a new layout as you want to do, you need to put away everything um, that can disturb your uh, impagination, your layout. And so you need uh, to import uh, in Scribus a plain text. Another thing very, very important uh, uh, to say, and you will be um, surprised as many think in, in, uh, in, uh, in my magazine and my redazione. <laughs> They, they don't they don't do is to save uh, the original okay in this case you don't have uh, a, a, a 1600 uh, manuscript in your uh, hands but you have other files but those other files contains uh, informations so when you copy them and, and export them in a new um, format you need to have the original ones because no, it's uh, uh, if uh, something goes terrible wrong uh, in your impagination, uh, what you have uh, uh, waste is only your time. You can go back to your original folder and begin again. OK, so you have uh, all your material, then you copy all your material and transform your material in a new still life project. That is the still life project that you are working with. Then if you ro ruin a, a image or put it, uh, you now export it in a, in a very low resolution, you can have uh, again your original and retrace, remade your um, transformation, your reduction. Okay, um, and also give 
the name, the appropriate name, uh, it's, uh, um, it's important uh, because so you can uh, uh, know uh, in which page you have put this image, in which uh, um, chapter you have put this text and so on. So uh, images could be, should be uh, in some particular format, but, but um, Professor Casarosa had, had show uh, two days ago as uh, what kind of format the, um, the picture could have. Uh, best format for scribe was, uh, is the, 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 the standard JPEG, but you can have also other format. Um, text uh, could be in a variety of format, but the best thing uh, should be um, export uh, the, the, all the text that we have uh, into plain text. So save the original text uh, because the original text can have uh, the styles used um, by the author. Maybe the author wants to uh, make uh, a part, uh, a quotation in italic. Uh, when you transfer the, the, um, the text uh, in, uh, in plain text, uh, all the uh, justification of the styles goes away. And so we need to, to check uh, uh, what kind of style uh, the author uh, wants uh, for, for his text, a particular part of the text. Um, okay, um, at the end, uh, you could have something uh, uh, like this, uh, a, a folder with, uh, with uh, your project, uh, the image, uh, um, divided by edited image and original one. The proofs are the... the um, the, the work in progress, uh, uh, your file uh, in, in um, saved in uh, Scribus, and the text. Uh, the text that you have, uh, I have already, uh, I, I think that I have already enough to check. Uh, um, uh, mm, export uh, uh, the text, you have the text uh, in uh, Word, uh, in Doc, uh, and the text uh, in plain text. But the problem is that it's uh, in one file. Uh, this is not good. Usually you need to divide the text uh, in different chap uh, chapters, so it's, easy, it's easier for you to take the text and import uh, in, uh, in the right uh, frame that you uh, built in, uh, um, in Scribus. So it's, it's uh, a good thing to divide the, uh, your, uh, um, your plain text uh, in different chapter, chapters. Okay. And then you have uh, in your uh, um, material the flat plane. Uh, it's a really time consuming to do this together. I have uh, already made uh, a flatman for the project. Uh, you can see that the slide. Allora. Actually, slide we are still on uh, slide six, oh. I think. Yes, oh. thank you. Okay, uh, non so perché non funziona, doesn't work. Okay. Allora, flat pen, play. You can take the one I gave you, I give you uh, and, and, and put your uh, ideas on it, uh, but uh, uh, this is what I, I already did. I tried to uh, organize the 32 uh, means the two uh, signature of 16 pages of our uh, catalog. Uh, what we have here, we have uh, uh, the cover that we will realize if we, were, if we have time. The, um, and then uh, some of the, the, the pages uh, at the beginning of the book uh, are the, the, uh, the pages that you need to have in any case. The title page, the colophon, uh, <coughs> the table of content, uh, the presentation of the series if you are uh, 
uh, catalog uh, is a um, catalog that belongs to a series of different catalogs. Uh, if you uh, work uh, in a museum and you are dealing with a, a temporary exhibition in this museum, basically the museum wants to realize, <coughs> sorry, want to realize, wants to realize uh, a, a different uh, portfolio, different uh, uh, catalog uh, uh, for each exhibition uh, from now on. So you need to have a series and you present uh, your uh, uh, series of book uh, um, uh, linked to dealing with the, the, the temporary exhibition of the museum. Uh, then uh, you can have an introduction of the exhibition, maybe. <clears throat> an article uh, written by the editor, the, 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 the director of the museum, of the curator of the exhibition. Then you can have, uh, and I put these two pages of uh, biography of the author, of the uh, pictures or uh, painting in the exhibition. <clears throat> um, Maybe you have uh, a part, a article a, a, an article of an expert uh, or the reviewer of uh, an art critic uh, or uh, something else that goes uh, in deep uh, in in the in the in the theme and the subject of your exhibition and explain it's uh, it's a part that usually in uh, our catalog on museum catalog you have uh, the story of the museum the, the the reason of the exhibition the the decision of the the curator and so on so you can have a part that uh, goes in deep in in the subject uh, then uh, what we have uh, in our uh, catalog uh, that is uh, already published, you have the book in your hands, so you can criticize it. Uh, and I'd like if you do this. Um, the interview with the author in this case, uh, um, it's a face, a face to face. Uh, so that uh, the, the you know, meaning that the, the reason, the, the vision, the mission of the of the work of the author of the photographs are uh, um, explained in this long interview, where you can find also some images of the work of the uh, of the works of the artworks of the um, authors and maybe some uh, picture of uh, the author himself while it works, no? The backstages. Uh, and then uh, you begin this, uh, the part, the, the, the core of your catalog, that is the portfolio, the portfolio of the, of the, the exhibition. Uh, um, I decided uh, in my case uh, to have an a, a, um, inner cover uh, that uh, um, divide, uh, that can divide, uh, divides uh, the, the, the different parts of the book, okay? So you have a, a, a page dedicated to uh, divide the, the first part of the book, that is the, the, the um, written part, when you say, of the book and the second part that is the part that concern the the artwork in itself the card the standard card for real is uh, uh, artwork and some other caption or text that i want to put in it and then, then i have a, a um, different uh, part that uh, um, is a part that uh, uh, wants to deal uh, with uh, the how to make it, how I make this artwork, okay? And I gave it uh, three pages, uh, and then uh, I have uh, uh, some uh, um, parts, some pages that are uh, um, uh, in um, about uh, uh, the exhibition that this that this author had made uh, in time, some quotes uh, from uh, uh, 
newspapers and critics about uh, the the artworks of this author. And then uh, if, um, I, I gave a, a last page that is like the, 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 you know, the, the last page of the book, of the cover of the book, La Quarta di Copertina, no? the, the, uh, the fourth page of a cover that has that concern only uh, a, um, uh, it, that it's a tool, a marketing tool for the publisher. No, um, it, can, it could contain some information about the, the other books that we are going to publish in this series. Okay, but you can uh, uh, divide your material as you want and as you need in base of your own projects. I mean, in what you think is better uh, to to um, to organize the material this is uh, just uh, a, a tip for you okay then uh, then what we need to decide uh, is to define the cards and the caption that are the most important thing for a catalog okay uh, the, the, the standard cards that uh, are uh, um, put uh, uh, near each uh, uh, artwork or each uh, uh, material that your a book, uh, an artwork, a painting, uh, uh, an ar um, archaeological um, remaining, or what you want. Uh, it's, it's uh, it, what um, depends on, on the subject of your catalog. In this case. Uh, you are dealing with a picture, no? This artist uh, made his, uh, um, his own uh, um, paint, um, I mean, artwork, uh, um, realizing the, the very the, the incredible still life. And it used to publish it only in a, a um, uh, limited edition uh, uh, printed uh, uh, canvas uh, and uh, um, use uh, uh, a particular kind of lenses uh, in a uh, photographic camera. So uh, uh, in the card contain uh, some technical data data uh, about the uh, image. Uh, the camera, what we, we, the camera, the lenses use, uh, the shutter speed, uh, the film uh, he used because uh, they, they are, uh, or uh, if um, in this case because it was uh, an old uh, images and it was made in in uh, in a film. Uh, and, uh, uh, then uh, the way it is taken with the optical bench, uh, the number or the, 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 the size of the canvas in which it's printed, uh, and the number of copies uh, signed uh, and um, testified that are signed and that are published by the author. Uh, then I have decided to uh, give uh, each uh, photo a title, a, a date, uh, meaning that uh, every picture has a, a date of uh, realization. And then uh, I decided to give to every picture a caption that is a quote from the, the author. The idea of this book, uh, it is not only a portfolio to show the beauty of the, the work of uh, the, the, the photographer, but also a way to understand how to do it. I mean, uh, some, some, something like a workshop uh, to explain uh, uh, what kind of work uh, um, there is uh, uh, um, uh, you need to do to realize uh, things, still life uh, of, this, uh, of this beauty. And in this case, I, I, I put some uh, um, caption uh, directly from uh, the, taken from the artist um, about uh, uh, the, the image itself. Uh, no? And that explain uh, why he did it, uh, when it, the, he, he did the, 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 sh the, the shot and so on. Okay, so now we have everything put in the right place in our uh, computer. 
in our desktop or in our documents uh, as you like and uh, we have uh, an idea of uh, uh, of the the cards that we need to put in every in near every image that we um, are going to to put in our catalog and so let's have uh, uh, let's do something about these images okay we have learned of the first day about the um, the pixel and the data I had the, the 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 width and the height of the um, height of the uh, images and now we need to and it was very important for me because uh, I um, finally know what I am doing what I am doing what I'm doing because uh, the the um, uh no it, it's uh, always important when you um, use images uh, to uh, resize the images uh, independent on the, uh, the, the the way that you are going to use them okay uh, you um if you open your uh, say come faccio farvelo vedere anche if you open uh, your uh, uh, the one of your of the images i gave you Nicoletta puoi yes. puoi passare dalla visione delle slide alla visione del tuo schermo del computer quindi fare direttamente le cose Sì meglio perché sennò no mi difficile Meglio perché sennò no poi Dare, uh, ok. Sì, lo fai fare e gli okay. chiedi ogni volta se, se okay. hanno fatto. Let's see this. No, it's, it's important to know some, something theoretical that I need to say to, to say to you. Every image is, no? If you open an image, you have uh, a... a um, uh, an, an idea about uh, is, uh, uh, its uh, width and its height, the dimension. And you can decide that in which uh, um, measure you want uh, to know it, in pixel, in inches, in centimeters, in millimeters, and what you want. Um, and then uh, um, you have uh, a, a, a place, a, a, a checkbox, uh, uh that say to you that you have want or you don't want to preserve the ratio of of these uh, uh, images that is very good to check because uh, uh, no, it's usually a good thing to preserve the the, um, uh, the the proportion of the original images you don't have to stretch the images in eight or white then, uh, uh, as uh, uh, Rosa, as a professor, Casarosa told us, uh, you have uh, the uh, most important characteristic of your image, that is your the density, the pixel density of your images. Okay, uh, the number of pixels don't give you directly the um, sharpness of uh, an image. It gives you only the number of pixels in which it is um, it is done. This is because uh, in uh, in uh, in a digital world uh, the pixel can be uh, spread uh, as long as uh, as big as you want uh, in your screen. Okay, um, so you can uh, um, have an image uh, with. Uh, um, uh, that uh, if you if you um, enlarge an image, uh, you enlarge the space between pixels, and uh, the density of the the the, the pixel is a very good indicator of the sharpness of the images. So you need to consider the density of dots or PPI or DPI, as we say, dot per inch or better in our case, pixel per inch. Um, it's uh, it's important to say that this gives us uh, the resolution of the image, uh, and this is what I want to show you. I don't know if it's possible to. Okay. 
No. Ask. Sì. Vediamo. If I... If I open a, um, an image, I can have a, a, um, the width and the height of the image depending on the resolution that I give, okay? So if I give to this image a resolution of 72 pixel um, PPI, pixels per inches, I have an image that I can uh, see uh, very easily in uh, um, can not can see uh, very easily big like uh, 27 uh, centimeter. If I give to the pixel a different kind of density, in this case is 300 ppi, this this image can be see with this density only in a, um, a large um, uh, six centimeter. You see that this is really different. And I, uh, I need to say that if you, want, if you want to print an image, the density that you need uh, is uh, 300 pixel per inch. If you want to see a picture in uh, a only on a screen, uh, you uh, what you need is a very low resolution, 72 or 90, 96 uh, uh, pixel per inch. And this is important for us. Let's do a thing like this. Okay, I try to do things like this. Okay. Lasciatemi uh, provare. Ad andare nel computer. Ok, vado sullo schermo. Interrompi la presentazione. Interrompo la presentazione così. Vado sullo schermo. Sì, poi fai condivisione e poi scegli tutto lo schermo. È eh, fatto, però a questo punto... Devi, devi chiudere la, la finestra e aprire, cioè fare come se si lavorassi direttamente. Ok, proviamo. Proviamo, proviamo, proviamo. Let's try this. Ok. Materia. Materia. Qua. Ok, still life project, photos, ok. Uh, let's take uh, one of the pictures that we have. Una con... Sono tutte già state messe a posto, ma ce n'era una più grande. Sorry. Vabbè, let's, uh, let's take this one. It's okay. <clears throat> ok, I, I have this picture. Um, I use a um, preview in, uh, um, in, my, uh, in my PC, my computer, but you can use uh, um, what you want. Uh, uh, um, also, the, the uh, image editor of uh, Microsoft or LibreOffice or uh, everything you want. I go to the... the the dimension regulation and what i say i see is this i have uh, a picture that uh, in uh, a given resolution uh, 72 that is the resolution i want uh, is a 72 is a uh, that is 72 pixel uh, per, per inches uh, can be um, published uh, as uh, as uh, long as uh, 28 centimeters 
that is uh, enough. It's uh, more than enough uh, because I want to publish it uh, on uh, the screen of uh, a tablet. And the screen of the tablet uh, is uh, um, um, 20, in our average, 27 centimeters. So what uh, I see this, uh, is uh, an image that is uh, bigger than I than I really need, uh, but uh, this means that uh, it can show in a, in a screen, a full size in a, in a tablet screen uh, very well. Okay, in a seventy two pixel resolution. Okay, um, and uh, um, but they can change this. Um, uh, uh, the, this dimension, and I can say that uh, 72 resolution is too low for me because uh, uh, I want that uh, I, um, I need uh, it to be the cover page of my ebook, uh, and uh, uh, maybe uh, I can uh, um, it can be seen very well also in some tablet or in some screen that uh, have a high resolution. So I decided to put a, a, a a, a bigger and a much more density of pixel for inches, uh, 96 uh, inches for pixel. And if I say OK, I see that uh, the, the image has changed. I go to the, the um, dimension again and I see that uh, it's uh, not changed. Um, the dimension change in in base of uh, our resolution. Uh, I'm, there are some uh, some uh, um, noise in the background. There are problems. No, I I I'm hearing some noises. Maybe someone has uh, the, the microphone open. OK, so you can uh, personalize the, and change the dimension of your uh, images uh, in a way that uh, it fits uh, very well to your uh, um, impagination. In this case, I have uh, already um, prepare your uh, your images uh, in a way that they are uh, um, uh, they are uh, um, um, good for an impagination in a, a, a layout uh, in a PDF. Um, you see, in this case, uh, the image uh, that before was uh, only 580 uh, kappa byte, now is 8 because I uh, put some more uh, resolution in it. And this is not good in our case because we need uh, low resolution uh, um, pictures. So I go again here and I I retrace my step and I, okay. Can I have a question? Yes, please. Uh, if I took a photo mm -hmm. in a um, 72 DPI resolution, for example, and then I need to make them bigger in terms of, re of resolution, uh, have, uh, these this uh, modification has an impact on the image in terms of quality? Yeah, sure. You are uh, stretching the gap between the pixel. The so pixels. If I need so to... you, you lose uh, sharpness. OK, so if I need to uh, make it uh, um, make make it useful for for a printed edition, for example, I had to took the photo in uh, 300 DPI and then make them smaller instead of make them bigger after. As I told before, uh, if you have an image that can uh, be suited very well in a screen of 24 uh, centimeter, because uh, um, the screen has uh, a backlight and uh, this uh, change everything. Like in television, if you uh, try to make a, a picture of a, of a TV screen, uh, what you see is a 
terrible picture, full of uh, uh, not 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 very sharp because uh, your eyes don't need to have uh, so many information. Uh, um, Professor Casarosa told us the first day very well. Uh, your eyes don't need so many information uh, when you have uh, lights uh, in, in front of you and you have a moving picture in front of you. But uh, if you need to publish it on a paper, what you need is a sh very good sharpness because you see every single point uh, of your uh, of your um, picture. So if you want to publish in uh, in uh, on uh, in, in print, uh, you need to have picture that uh, have uh, uh, a, a quality of 300 pixel every inch. Okay. Um, if you don't, uh, um, it depends on how big you want to um, to make the picture. See this picture. If yeah, if I want to. OK, I have a three. So non so se me lo fa immediatamente. Uh, I, have a, he, uh, I have it in a resolution of 300 uh, DPI. Mm -hmm. uh, track. OK, see, it's no more at 28 centimeter. This picture is six centimeter. OK, OK. okay. So if you if you want a very this picture have the same uh, how you say uh, sharpness um, in a printed uh, magazine or in a, in an ebook uh, you need uh, to resize it uh, um, no uh, in base of uh, of the resolution that uh, you can use so in a case I want to have it. Uh, um, in a uh, low resolution. OK, I saw this. OK, regola dimension. OK, see, in, in um, low resolution, 72 dpi, I can stretch this image up to 28 centimeter. But if I want to print it uh, in 28 centimeter, this uh, image becomes uh, in impossible to see because each pixel is stretched. OK, OK, so if I want to see this picture as beautiful as it is uh, in my screen, uh, I needed to change it uh, in. Uh, OK, in this uh, situation in 300 pixel per inch, uh, the, the, um, the it, and I don't uh, I cannot publish it uh, bigger than uh, seven centimeter. OK, OK, it's very clear. Thank you. So it's yeah. maybe better to storage a, an image in a 300 DPI resolution and then you can use it in both or. Uh, no, no, no. You can have the original one high resolution. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm talking about the original yeah. one. Yeah, the original should be the uh, high quality high resolution. OK, okay. then you have a copy. And you make a copy in 72 uh, pixel uh, per inch if you want to publish only a new catalog. Okay. But uh, if your uh, editor say, OK, we have the, the, the funds, we have the, the money to publish our catalog now on, uh, um, on paper, you need to go back to your file and put in your file the 300 resolution picture. OK? Okay. Because uh, if you don't have uh, this original, you cannot publish uh, in on paper. OK, OK, thank you. Yeah. So this is the reason why I told you the original are untouchable. So make a copy and use a copy and change the copy, but not the original, because the original could be very important in your if you, you decide to print your PDF. That's a very good advice. OK, it's uh, it's uh, it's um, it's very important. So you can uh, now play with uh, the copies, not uh, with the original, because if you uh, maybe you can use the original for other things. 
if I want to to make this, um, then it depends on where you put the, in your layout the images and what you want, uh, how much you want, um, how is the size you decide to publish it. Because in this case, uh, I have uh, in 72 uh, DPI an image that is uh, as large as 28 uh, centimeters. So it could be a very good uh, cover. But if I use it, uh, four or six centimeter in my layout uh, in my screen uh, uh, no i don't i don't uh, i can reduce you more reduce it more because i don't know a uh, reduction of the the, the reduction uh, of the the image means that it's uh, not so weight uh, and uh, you know the the the, the weight of a, of a file is very important uh, when you are uh, uh, dealing with uh, a, a digital catalog because a catalog is full of images and images uh, um, weight a lot uh, are, are big and may make the, the your pdf very heavy okay and if you have a, a heavy file uh, it's difficult to to be to download a, a very heavy file and you need to to understand that uh, you give this file to uh, your readers or your visitors of the exhibition and uh, to download in their devices and their devices are full of things usually because our devices are so there is no more much more memory much uh, memory less uh, and they never downloaded something that is so big uh, to cover all their memory okay so you need to pay attention of the the, um, the weight of your file and uh, the thing that uh, uh, um, the things that are the the, the page and the weight a lot in a file are video and images and so reducing the images it's a very important job to do also because if not uh, if you want to publish your catalog in amazon or in uh, um, google books or in uh, uh, itunes uh, uh, you need to be uh, uh, in an average uh, in a, in, a, in a range of uh, um, dimensions uh, that the the the, mm. the ebook store gives you if you you, you don't uh, uh, you cannot uh, upload uh, uh, files that are uh, bigger than uh, um, 200 uh, megabyte in, in a case so you need to pay attention how big is your file at the end of the work and it depends of how big are your pictures see uh, at the end of this uh, um, window, you can see that uh, these images uh, have changed in the dimension. Okay, in this case, is uh, 160 kilobytes. Uh, if I give uh, uh, other dimension, it uh, uh, it could be um, heavier. Yeah? And um, I needed to consider also this when I deal with the image that um, uh, they could uh, um, uh, made my file too heavier to be published. It's uh, it's clear or not? <laughs> I don't know. I really uh, okay. Let's see um, another. Let's go again. <laughs> Okay, in my uh, presentation, you see this uh, presentation? Okay. Um, okay, we have uh, seen this. Uh, we have also seen this one. This one told you the same thing uh, we, we tried to see. And then uh, uh, let's decide uh, the document size, okay? we have uh, uh, our text uh, in plain text uh, we have uh, reduced uh, and resized our image uh, in a way that uh, they can fit uh, in our uh, um, 
in our catalog, then we uh, need to, to take the, the, the first of uh, many uh, decisions. And the one is uh, I want to realize this catalog only in PDF. And so uh, I need, uh, it, it can be seen very well and uh, read easily on a tablet, okay? or maybe on a, uh, a smartphone. Okay, smartphone is the, is the most important of our devices, uh, but uh, when you want to browse uh, an art exhibition, uh, or you are in a visitor center, you are in a gallery in, uh, in Milano, the Galleria d'Italia gives you a tablet in your hand uh, with uh, the uh, visitor guides uh, in, uh, in format, uh, in EPUB, uh, three uh, fixed layout format and uh, that uh, uh, make interaction with B constant so you followed all the all the uh, all the exhibition with the tablet that the, the museum gives you but uh, if you want to make a catalog uh, that uh, a, a visit visitor should uh, uh, download in its own devices, you need to think that he can have some uh, uh, two different devices in his hand, a tablet or a smartphone. So decided a, um, we, we need to decide a, um, a dimension that is that could fit uh, in these two screens. Um, let's take the tablet. Uh, most tablets are uh, <clears throat> 10 uh, inches or 12 inches screen. So. And the resolution of the screen of a tab uh, tablet uh, is uh, usually uh, 100, uh, 1300 uh, um, uh, by 800 uh, uh, pixels. So uh, when we decided to um, format, to, to re reformat our picture, we need uh, not to have pictures that are bigger than this, uh, um, the screens, because we don't need. We just uh, waste uh, bits and waste uh, and uh, uh, make our uh, documents very heavy for nothing. Okay, so those are the dimensions. You see that uh, uh, the most uh, um, <coughs> used uh, um, tablet uh, is the 10 inch, uh, 10 inches tablet, uh, and is 24 for uh, 17, uh, 24 for 16 uh, centimeter. Um, there are other bigger, uh, but uh, all the tablet that we have are less big than a E4 uh, uh, sheet of paper, okay? <clears throat> this is the reason why we don't use the standard uh, E4 for, um, and so we don't use a word processor, but we use an, a, a different kind of, uh, uh, of software. Oh my God, okay. Let's meet Scribus uh, and I try to open it directly on my screen. Perché non si spengono? Questo via. Questo non va via. Ok. You see Scribus on my. Can you see the. Yes. Oh, yes. Let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't see the. the uh, my uh, meets. <clears throat> OK. Let's. Uh, uh, let's see. Sorry. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have uh, in uh, in uh, Scribus. Uh, mm, we have uh, um, a, a, a program uh, 
um, with many uh, tools uh, in it, uh, with two different uh, um, menu. One is very is the high menu, the, the principal menu. It's um, high, and you and you can open it. Uh, the, um, file, edit, elements, uh, um, and so on, uh, th that gives you um, all the, the, the tools to, um, to work uh, on uh, um, with, the, with the, the software. And then you have your uh, icons that are usually the same icons that you have uh, in an, in the word processor uh, you can uh, open a file save a file uh, um, uh, save the file as a um, PDF uh, and so on you can edit the file uh, uh, undoing uh, cut it uh, copy it uh, uh, copy and paste uh, but the most important uh, um, tools that you, you have uh, are these uh, the, the the white arrow that can uh, um, that that is the most uh, important because uh, it's the one that uh, give you the possibility to uh, work on the canvas uh, or on, on your document. Um, the, the, the one with the, the A in it uh, is the, the, the one uh, that gives you the possibility to, to create uh, the frame. Um, Scribus, uh, uh, let me use this one. Okay. That's easy. Okay, Scribus Scri uh, is uh, a, um, a software th that works with frames. Uh, when you have a document uh, that is your, here in your uh, in your canvas, uh, you can. Uh, okay. See you uh, bigger than this. Okay. Um, you, you have uh, a white page in front of you. I put the grid and I show you uh, how to do this uh, when we are going to realize this document uh, this morning. Uh, but what I need to say is that uh, at these pages, you don't do what you are usually done in your process. So just begin to read, to, to make uh, your text, uh, to, to read, to write your text uh, in the page because the pages uh, is white, is a document, is a white page. What you need to do is uh, um, uh, put in the page uh, your frame and uh, uh, put in the frame what you want to put in it, text or images or graphic or uh, um, design or forms. Uh, huh? Okay, so what uh, um, those icons uh, um, gives you the possibility to do is just to create the right frame. If you use this, uh, um, this tool, you just uh, realize a frame and this is a frame that, is, uh, that deals with text not other things, only text. When you have this frame, you can uh, just type think in it and you have your text, okay? Uh, then you have uh, a, a different kind of uh, um, frame and, and you can uh, uh, um, take the, the, the frame and uh, put your frame wherever you want. OK, you can uh, change the dimension of the frame and so on. So the frame are free to be um, placed in different uh, in a different place of your uh, um, layout space. This is why it's a design uh, design software. You cannot do this uh, or you can hardly do this uh, in, a, in a word processor. Then you want to um, have an image in a particular place. You need to uh, use the, the, um, the frame for an image that goes like this, okay? Then you can choose an image. You can uh, um, 
double you right click in your mouse and you can say okay insert image okay um, if you have given the right path you can choose an image and say that this gives you what kind of uh, image it is, uh, what are their dimension and everything. You could say, OK, I want this image here. Obviously, you don't see anything because uh, it gives you the image uh, at the dimension that you have decided before, maybe 28 uh, centimeter large and uh, 13 centimeter um, high. So this is not a good thing for a, a frame like this. So you need to adapt the image to the frame you have. And here it is, your image. Obviously, I design a, a landscape frame, but I put in, in the frame a, an image that is a, um, a la a landscape. So I have to uh, reduce my frame or uh, I can uh, uh, move it uh, or I can uh, uh, change the dimension of my frame as uh, uh, as I want uh, in my um, in my impagination. So the um, what we have uh, with the Scribus uh, is uh, a software that uh, works with frames. Uh, each object that I put in my um, layout is different, can be moved freely, it can be in the dimension of each frame can be decided. You can also change the, the, the value of the uh, image, uh, the, of the frame. I want to transform a, a, a image frame in a text frame, I can do this. Okay? I can uh, this is uh, a, a, uh, a form of frame. Uh, I want to put some text uh, uh, in, the, in this uh, uh, form. It's crazy, but it could be done. Uh, what I want to do is to transform this frame that is a, a, a graphic frame in a, in a um, uh, in a uh, frame that contain text. So I can change the, the, the mission of each frame that I want. But uh, uh, for our, um, for the beginning, let's say that uh, we, we need to use frame and use the right frame for the right content. It's okay. Okay. Uh, let's go, uh, so if I want to uh, realize uh, a, a, a form, I can uh, uh, click on the, the form. I can have all this kind of uh, uh, form to, to take, but I can also change them as I want, uh, different uh, number of uh, uh, sites, uh, different uh, kind of, uh, I can do whatever I want. Uh, and the same uh, uh, for this, uh, okay, I can uh, decide how many uh, sites I want to, in, in my polygon, uh, uh, I want, I can uh, rotate it uh, uh, and so on, I can, I can do a lot of things on it, okay can realize uh, uh, what, uh, uh, whatever I want uh, for my, uh, in my layout. Uh, I told you it's powerful, it's full of uh, um, possibilities. Uh, um, this is the line, uh, and this is important also when you want to have a graphic um, line, and you can change the line in all, uh, you can uh, design your line directly on, uh, on your screen and so on. Okay, let's uh, go back uh, to our um, okay. 
now we uh, begin to realize our document. Uh, I think uh, we are in this part now. Okay. And the first thing to do is uh, give Scribus uh, the, uh, the preference. Uh, okay. You have a, a different kind of preferences that you uh, need to give to Scribus. It depends on uh, uh, the kind of project uh, that you have to do. It, if it, it is a project uh, once, uh, uh, once and only, uh, a book uh, that uh, it could be remain uh, um, the, the one and only that you are going to to realize for a particular exhibition or a particular uh, part a catalog for a, a client that ask you only this uh, this book uh, you can decide to give your uh, uh, document uh, um, some specification that are link only for this document alone but uh, um, usually if i if you realize uh, a, a project it's better to give to the pro uh, no to give to scribes uh, the pref the um, preferences that are uh, um, good for uh, many um, of your uh, documents that you are going to realize maybe is a series of book okay and so it's it's a good thing to give uh, um, preferences that's uh, value for uh, all your work okay and so you uh, uh, open uh, your preferences and uh, but some preferences uh, are uh, the same you used to give to every software, uh, the 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 language, the you know your language. So in my case, uh, I have Italian. Uh, you can choose uh, so many language language you want. Uh, the theme uh, is the, the 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 theme of your computer. The the, the colors uh, that you have decided. Uh, um, the palette you um, decided. Then here you just can, um, it, it's just uh, a, a decision uh, that uh, brings you some consequences in your uh, uh, present document. And those are the dimension of the character uh, you want that, uh, um, in which you want the uh, scribus uh, speaks to you, okay? Uh, and some uh, some other uh, and, and this is important uh, the 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 um, itinerary what you say the the, the path uh, the, that uh, it's important uh, um, that scribus uh, uh, will follow uh, when you retrieve uh, the items uh, you want to put in your file. Okay, it's uh, the folder that um, I have uh, uh, said you to, to create before. Okay, the path uh, is the path uh, between the software and the folder of your project uh, where you can, can find all the documents uh, um, you need to put in your layout. Okay. And this is the general information. You say, OK, and go on. Then you have uh, the most important information that are the ones uh, that uh, um, are linked to your document. Uh, you can reach this information here, and they will be written for all the different documents that you are going to realize, not only the one we are working on. Or you can go to file and go there to open a new document and uh, put them there, the, the, the information about the working document, okay? Leaving this uh, um, free, but uh, it's a good thing, I think, that uh, there is a, 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 a um, coherence between uh, the, the preference that you have uh, uh, in the general preferences and the preference that you have in your document, uh, not to have any problem uh, 
uh, in their uh, exchange of information. Um, let's see, in this case, uh, we can show what kind of, of document uh, we want uh, to realize. A uh, single page, uh, double page. It's the most important thing to realize. If you want to print a book, usually you use double face, okay? Because a book uh, is made of uh, one single page that is the first page and the last single page is the, the, the last pages, but uh, in, in, in the core of the book, uh, you read in double page. So if you want uh, um, to print uh, a, a catalog, uh, usually you use a layout in double space. Mm -hmm. uh, when you use a layout in double space, uh, what you see is uh, two pages uh, um, together, put together. And this is important because uh, uh, you, you can uh, uh, make a layout uh, where an image uh, take two pages, not one only, or uh, a page and a half. Uh, it's, it's free for you. And this is important because it uh, gives you some uh, um, uh, possibilities uh, to stretch the images in more than one page. In our case, uh, uh, you don't need this because uh, we um, want to browse our catalog uh, single page uh, in a tablet. So I put a uh, uh, single page, okay? Then um, the dimension of your uh, the dimensions, the dimension of your the size of uh, of your uh, um, document. I'll so show you how many possible sizes you have. Here they are: huh? A4, A1, A2, A3 letters. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities that you have here. All the possibilities you have uh, in making an ebook, uh, a printed ebook, uh, a paper ebook, but also a, 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 a P PDF ebook. So you have all these possibilities here. Um, we choose to uh, customize our own uh, um, document. So you have uh, the dimension, this is customized, the orientation that is, uh, in our case, landscape. Uh, why landscape? Uh, because uh, I told you before, uh, we uh, are dealing with a beautiful picture, beautiful painting. And uh, in our cases, the picture will be um, uh, in our in majority uh, landscape pictures, so no way to use them uh, um, in, a, in a vertical uh, um, orientation, in a, a portrait orientation. So it's better to have our tablet uh, in a landscape position to uh, enjoy the picture um, um, and better. Uh, better. Then you have to decide uh, the measure, the, the unit is, uh, and uh, I decide in a millimeter, you can choose a point, a millimeter, uh, inches, uh, centimeter, uh, and so on. Uh, it, it's easy for us uh, to use millimeter or centimeters because you use uh, this kind of unity, uh, but uh, you can uh, have also in inches uh, what you want. And in our case, I put here the uh, the size, uh, the medium size of uh, the screen of a tablet, the tablet. Okay, two hundred and forty-three millimeters uh, width and uh, one hundred and sixty-two height. Height. Mm, okay, this uh, takes. Uh, this gives us uh, a good range also for the quality in a bigger tablet, 13 inches tablet, and gives us most, uh, much of, uh, over, over, over information, much more information that we need for a um, smartphone uh, sc um, screen. So it's a good uh, approximation of uh, what uh, our reader uh, uh, could uh, have uh, in front of him. 
Uh, then, and this is impossible, uh, this is best, um, important, uh, we give some uh, uh, information about uh, the margin uh, in view uh, that we have. Um, usually, you uh, need uh, to give uh, um, uh, um, margin, white spaces around your document are very important. They are, uh, they are not a waste of space. Uh, they are very important uh, device uh, to, to make uh, uh, readable a book in any case. So the bigger are the margin, the much more elegant uh, is the layout. Remember this. Uh, once an art, an, an art director, uh, when I worked for uh, Giorgio Mondadori and I was editor in chief of uh, Irone magazine, the art, the, um, the art director of the publisher, uh, that is also the art director of uh, a magazine called ID Architectural Digest, uh, told me once that the, the white spaces uh, in a magazine. Uh, is uh, the most important part uh, of the of the, the magazine itself is what to change uh, a magazine in like you know it what it's the difference between a furniture and design furniture okay you design with the white so if you give space if you give the white sp uh, space to a picture the picture become become begin became uh, um much more beautiful when you're in, a, in an exposition uh, room you see only a, a, a painting and not a lot of them put in, a, in a, on a wall you see the painting now uh, you see that this painting is the most important painting on the, the room is now it gives um, the, the space around gives the importance the, the hierarchy of the or then of, of the same thing itself. And so happens in a layout. So give margin their space. They are useful. They used to be useful in a, in a, in a, when we printed the books uh, because uh, it, this was the, pl the uh, place, uh, the, the, um, the place where we can put uh, the number of pages, uh, the the footer, uh, the the heading, and so on. But also, it's a, the the no the place where your uh, eyes can rest uh, and can uh, um, and you can enjoy the inside of the page. So give uh, we will give. Uh, uh, um, uh, 13 millimeters uh, for the left uh, margin and for the right margin. And we used to give uh, much more space for the um, top margin and bottom margin because it's a place where you need to put something. Number of pages is the, the first one. Okay, to do this, uh, you need to unlock the chain that you can find in this uh, place. Okay, if you have uh, locked this the chain, the chain, uh, you can uh, you see that the margin uh, need to be all the same in all of, in all your document. So if I put this, if if I um, lock the chain. Uh, uh, means that uh, all the margin will be the same. If I unlock them, I can change uh, the value of my margin as I want. Okay, so we unlock the chain and we um, give uh, um, uh, this information to our document. Uh, you, you have bleeds. Uh, bleeds uh, are the um, margins that are important for the printer. Okay, the printer needs to have a margin of error for the cutting and the trimming of the the, the paper, 
And uh, if you want to publish your book, uh, you need to give uh, this uh, information to your document. So the, the, um, when you uh, export your PDF, your PDF will be uh, some millimeters bigger than you have decided because you need to not to be um, uh, to uh, have the, the, um, the risk to cut off a, a part of your text or a part of your image when the printer cut the, the, the paper and uh, uh, bind your book. We don't need to give this because we don't uh, uh, print uh, in this case a book. Uh, then obviously you have a, a save, automatic save of your uh, uh, work, uh, better to um, to give a, a few minutes for each saving uh, because uh, something can be uh, dramatically wrong and you don't need to lose of your, uh, of your work. Um, then uh, you have uh, uh, to put some uh, action that you want to memorize. So if you want to go back uh, uh, and you are not uh, happy about your uh, um, decision, you come back uh, home and start again. Uh, um, and you can say this uh, 20, you can uh, memorize 20 different uh, um, action that you have done. So you can go back uh, uh, 20 movement that you, you have done. Okay. Uh, last thing to do, because the other things uh, uh, are linked to the printing uh, uh, part uh, of your book uh, and uh, of your uh, uh, PDF, so we are not interested in printing anywhere, anything. Um, is to decide the, the, the guides uh, that we need, the grid, you know, when you say that uh, we need to, to, to um, determine the grids. Um, and you can have it, uh, obviously, on the background, because if you want them in the first, uh, no, in front of you, you don't see anything else. Um, you can decide uh, um, when you move your uh, frame, uh, um, at what at what distance the frame will be linked to your grid, so that uh, the, the the exact uh, um, um, orientation and the exact position is taken, and then you can decide the the, the color of your grid. Um, no. You have to. You can select all the color you want for your grid. Uh, you can select the space between the the grid uh, and uh, the color. The uh, okay. The 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 and the uh, the grid for the text. Uh, this is important. We will do this uh, afterwards, uh, but uh, uh, it's important because uh, um, if we decide, as I decided, to have a, a text, uh, this, I don't remember what I decided in this case, but if I have a, a text uh, um, that is uh, uh, 16, uh, uh, point uh, um, and the the, the, um, the line spacing uh, uh, is 18 point between uh, the line of text. I can give this information here, and uh, the text will be um, um, and and you have a grid, a typographical grid that is perfectly online with your text. And this is important because you can see um, if there all the alignment is uh, uh, is maintained and um, and you don't have uh, uh, to uh, reestablish the proportion of the test because the test will be uh, aligned. Uh, automatically in your grid. We can see this uh, uh, after where, where, when we import the text. Okay. Um, say okay and uh, um,
then um, we go for uh, the um, document itself. Uh, file, and we um, we can uh, no, cancella questo non lo voglio. Uh, we can uh, um, uh, determine, we can decide all the uh, preference for our document. Here it is. Okay, uh, you can see that uh, when I uh, say file, open new document, uh, and that is what you have to do, open a new document, uh, and then you go to file and say document, uh, I don't know, remember in English what is its name, the name, but uh, um, preference document, open file new document, and then you uh, open the, the, the um, preference for uh, uh, your document. Um, Okay, let's see. Questo l'ho già fatto. Okay. If you have uh, done everything, you will have a thing like uh, this one I have in my in my computer. Is it all right? I, have you done everything? You have a new document in your uh, in your scribus? Yes. Okay. And is the assemble uh, the one I have in my in my desktop? Okay, now let's see uh, what kind of tools uh, we need to uh, use uh, today in the afternoon. Uh, okay. Okay. So, we, what we uh, need a lot, okay, you open the windows and you, those, uh, in the windows you have uh, all the uh, tools uh, um, that you can put on your canvas, on your, um, on your document, and that you need to use uh, uh, to um, move uh, things uh, in, uh, in your document to realize uh, uh, your, uh, uh, your layout. The most important one, uh, the, um, the very core of Scribos, is this one, Properties. Okay, and this is uh, a, the real core of your uh, um, of your uh, software uh, because from this um, uh, window you can uh, um, modify every frame and everything you have uh, in your layout. Okay, uh, in some cases you need to go back to the main menu. But uh, principally, this is uh, the, the one that uh, is uh, uh, with which you need to work, okay? And uh, um, this have, uh, uh, when you see X, Y, Z, uh, you see the um, indication about the image, you see? Every image, every frame, uh, uh, sorry, frame, uh, every frame you have in your, uh, um, or oh, you will have, a, try to, to put some in, in your 
own document. I cannot be there and and follow you as you do what you have to do. But uh, um, every every time uh, you uh, have a frame, you put a frame in your canvas. Uh, um, Scribus give it a name. Okay. So you can change this name because it could be easier for you to to um, um, determine to use to move the, the frame if you know what uh, it is. So if I have this this one uh, for my um, document is image eighteen. Uh, it uh, doesn't. Uh, um, uh, give me an information, a name like this, but if I, I give it uh, the right name of the image, uh, okay, because, okay, um, okay, I can remember that in this place, uh, in this page, uh, uh, I have this kind of image. I can change it if I want. What uh, um, I, I need to, um, to know is that I highlight a frame in the properties uh, um, palette. I see the name of the frame, the name that uh, Scribus uh, gave uh, or the name that I want to give to the frame, and the position in terms of millimeters, the position on the canvas of the frame. If I change the position, the numbers in, in, uh, in, in the palette change, okay? So it gives me the position, Respect of what? Respect of uh, my documents. Okay, I can uh, put it outside the margin, inside the margin. Okay, I can change the it, this uh, this uh, in uh, in um, uh, width and in uh, um, height, and uh, this uh, all these changes that I do are written here in this proprietors. Pro pro uh, also, I have uh, two different uh, situations, the position of the frame and the position of the thing that is in the frame. OK, so I can uh, um, change the frame or I can change the thing that is in the frame. OK, because I have these two different uh, situations. If I link the situation, I, I maintain uh, the the, um, the proportion that I have given to my in, in this case my uh, form. If I um, unchain and uh, unlock the, the the chain, I can change all the proportion as as I want. So I can stretch uh, the the image as I want. Okay. And uh, when you have here X, Y, Z, you have the information about the frames. When I give, I go to the uh, form, um, I have another kind of information, okay? It's about the form inside the frame, okay? Uh, when I go to um, uh, a, a frame that uh, that a text frame i have here all the information of the text that i can put in the frame if i go in a, in a frame that uh, contain an image i can have uh, here all the information about the image so you see this is uh, a, the the um, the object the tool that you need to to change every frame, to change the 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 position and the the, the content of every frame that you have in your canvas. Okay, have you seen it? You can uh, do whatever you want in your document. So let's uh, play with it. Okay. And this is the most important tool that we have uh, here. OK, last thing, five minutes left. And uh, we see how to do 
how to uh, take the, the text and put the text in a frame. I already done here this one. You see that uh, I have uh, uh, here a, a frame, a text frame, okay, that I decided to, to give uh, this test frame a, a um, dim some dimension that uh, will be the dimension of uh, all the text in my uh, catalog uh, when I am in the part of the catalog that concern text, the first part. And I decided to, uh, you see that this uh, um, uh, grid, these lines that are in different color, I put this and I'll show you how uh, to divide the, the part of my page that is uh, that deals with text and the part of the page that deals with the image uh, images that is this one okay I want to um, now in my in my layout uh, put text in this part of the, the, the page and images in this other images and caption and every other thing that they want to put in these other parts. Then I decided to uh, have some graphic design and I'll show you this this afternoon and very simple. I make a, a line and I gave uh, I gave the line the color red. Uh, then I uh, decided to uh, put in the top margin the name of the author and the, the title of the book and in the bottom margin the name of the series of book. Those uh, books are named photo gallery. And the number of page of the page. This is two because uh, I have this one here that is the, the first page and so Scribus automatically gives uh, it uh, number two then I can decide it uh, in differently. Okay, uh, how can I put uh, text uh, uh, in a frame? Okay, let's see how to do this. Okay. There are many ways to uh, put text in a frame. Obviously, you can do it from the beginning. I take the tool to make the, the text frame and I decide Okay, to have this frame. Okay, uh, as in any um, word processor, you can start your book saying, uh, this is my book, and ty typing directly. This is not the way we work, obviously, okay? We usually have uh, text, uh, written in different uh, word processor, uh, written by different authors, uh, and we have already put all our text in a particular folder. We have divided our text, we have conserved the, the original in a place, and then we have taken a copy of our text, uh, uh, export all the, our text in txt text and plain text and, and uh, could be better divided it in, in the different chap chapters of our book. Okay, so what we need to do here is take a text that we have uh, already somewhere in our computer and uh, 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 insert uh, it uh, in uh, our uh, frame, okay? Insert text. Uh, if I gave uh, Scribus the right path, uh, he goes directly where I want. Uh, uh, um, he, uh, uh, I want. Uh, um, I want uh, he to go, and uh, uh, I see that I have a draft. Uh, 
in PDF, you have it uh, as well. I have uh, the text uh, in docs uh, and I have uh, also the text uh, in uh, plain text. I use plain text, OK. But in this way, you have uh, uh, one text uh, and uh, um, one file and you have a very, very long file when you find everything and this is not the right thing to do. So what I have to do, it's better to um, open, uh, let's see, uh, okay. Mm, still life project, uh, text. Okay, here we are. You have your plain text here and decide in your plain text which part uh, is uh, good to, to be in this particular frame that you have uh, um, designed on your uh, layout. Uh, um, you can copy With that. You, yes. we, uh, we are, you oh. are at, at oh. the end. I'm in the end. OK, you can copy and paste to try to do it uh, in, in your frame or you can uh, um, open another um, tool that uh, Skyboard is. This is one text edit. OK, and uh, you can put uh, here uh, the text here, but uh, we uh, we need to stop now. Um, see you at uh, at two o'clock, uh, right? Two o'clock in the afternoon, and we we'll go on from uh, from here. Okay, thanks. Thank you a lot. Maybe maybe you can ask uh, if they show you show you what they have done. Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, done anything until now, but uh, oh, not anything. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, only a white uh, canvas. Here. Um, I, I think so, but, but uh, uh, we can share our uh, um, our file uh, after uh, doing something in the layout. I think. It's